O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. O Lord, how glorious are your works! Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will pour forth mysteries from of old, such as we have heard and known, which our forebears have told us. We will not hide from their children, but will recount to generations to come the praises of the Lord and his power and the wonderful works he has done. He laid a solemn charge on Jacob and made it a law in Israel, which he commanded them to teach their children, that the generations to come might know and the children yet unborn, that they in turn might tell it to their children so that they might put their trust in God and not forget the deeds of God but keep his commandments and not be like their forebears, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The people of Ephraim, armed with the bow, turned back in the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law. They forgot what he had done, and the wonders he had shown them. For he did marvellous things in the sight of their forebears, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and let them pass through. He made the waters stand still in a heap. He led them with a cloud by day, and all the night through with a blaze of fire. He split the hard rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink as from the great deep. He brought streams out of the rock and made water gush out like rivers. Yet for all this they sinned more against him and defied the Most High in the wilderness. They tested God in their hearts and demanded food for their craving. They spoke against God and said, can God prepare a table in the wilderness? He struck the rock indeed so that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. But can he give bread or provide meat for his people? When the Lord heard this, he was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob and his anger went out against Israel. For they had no faith in God and put no trust in his saving help. So he commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down upon them manna to eat and gave them the grain of heaven. So mortals ate the bread of angels. He sent them food in plenty. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens and led out the south wind by his might. He rained flesh upon them as thick as dust and winged fowl like the sand of the sea. He let it fall in the midst of their camp, and round about their tents. So they ate and were well filled, 
for he gave them what they desired. But they did not stop their craving. Their food was still in their mouths when the anger of God rose against them and slew their strongest men and felled the flower of Israel. But for all this they sinned yet more and put no faith in his wonderful works. So he brought their days to an end like a breath and their years in sudden terror. Whenever he slew them, they would seek him. They would repent and earnestly search for God. They remembered that God was their rock and the most high God their redeemer. They, yet they did but flatter him with their mouth and dissembled with their tongue. Their heart was not steadfast towards him, neither were they faithful to his covenant. But he was so merciful that he forgave their misdeeds and did not destroy them. Many a time he turned back his wrath and did not suffer his whole displeasure to be roused. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes by and does not return. O Lord, how glorious are your works! God, our Deliverer, as you led our ancestors through the wilderness, so lead us through the wilderness of this world, that we may be saved through Christ for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God, who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. There was a rich man who dressed in purple and fine linen, and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to satisfy his hunger with what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs would come and lick his sores. The poor man died and was carried away by the angels to be with Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was being tormented, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. He called out, Father, Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in agony in these flames. But Abraham said, Child, remember that during your lifetime you received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. Besides all this, between you and us a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who might want to pass from here to you cannot do so, and no one can cross from there to us. He said, Then, Father, I beg you to send him to my fa father's house, for I have five brothers, that he might warn them, so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. They should listen to them. He said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced, even if someone rises from the dead. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Let us pray. We pray for the day and its tasks. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world and its needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church and her life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for local government and community leaders. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who provide local services. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who work with young or elderly people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for schools, colleges and universities, especially the schools associated with our parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for emergency and rescue organisations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the Spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we and all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.